Okay, so now we're gonna time the motor. So, we're gonna need a 17 millimeter. We're gonna rotate this thing counterclockwise. We're gonna look in here and, there, and line it up so we see three lines. Okay, it's gonna be hard to see, but inside there, we're gonna rotate it so that little dowel sticking out lines up with the three lines on the crank. And then once we get that position, then I'm gonna put the, the, uh, the cam chain back on. I'm mindful of the chain over here. Broke back over, so I need to go on around one more time. And over here, I'm just holding the chain, a slight tension on it with my left thumb. So now I see the first one. So there's the second one. I don't want to lose that position. Okay, so I've set the timing for the bottom end. I'm not sure if it's gonna come up or not. But inside there, there's three lines. It's the center line that gets lined up with the little dowel. So now I can put the uh, cam chain back on and time this motor up. Okay, so on the bottom end, the dowel is still at the center mark. And then over here, this dowel and this are lined up good. So now I can snug this down and the motor is properly timed. I can put the rest of this bullshit back together.
Now we're going to confirm. that we have done everything right. So again, in here, that little dowel, we're gonna line up the three, there's three little marks. We're gonna line up the middle one as we rotate the motor over. So right now, we'll make one more revolution. This will end up lined up. And when this comes back around, it lines up with this dial. We know we're good. So rotating it over, you might not be able to see it, but I can. There you go. See, I can feel the compression change as I'm coming up. I can feel it coming at top dead center. Rotating. And right there, I can see that I'm in the right spot there. And then I'm lined up that dowel right there and the line on the, on the uh, camshaft gear. So I'm good.